Hello everyone, this is the Beringer 2600, the black orange one, and this is the 2600, the grey mini. Let's check it out. Open the box and look inside. Okay, so what do we have here? The quick start guide. power adapter in a box yep. and the 2600 grey mini okay the first difference I see of course is the color which is obvious the second is now here's a quick start guide in more languages so for the original one it looked like this and it's only in English that's the original quite thin and the other seems to be a bit more complete okay cool yeah, and of course, spring reverb. And also Beringer says this is a special edition with hand-picked components, whatever that means. I would say let's check it out compared to the other one. And yeah, really curious how different they sound. Okay, let's check it out. So, welcome back. Um, so now I have it in place. I've connected the USB connection and the power connection. I did not connect audio yet. I will do that in a minute. Um, let's switch these on. So here's the original one, the first edition with the digital reverb. And now I turn it on for the first time. Let's see. Okay, the LEDs don't seem to work. But of course we need to uh, turn them on. Like on the back side. On the back side you can just dim them to fully off and that's how they come from the factory. So if I turn them on, wow. Now this is, it's not a Christmas tree, but it looks like, I don't know, a highway at night or something. Okay, that's much too bright. Okay, so it has um, a really light gray color. Like if you compare it to the, to the Mac keyboard, it's still pretty bright and yeah in comparison original gray mini and yeah as you see I made a video um, a getting getting started video and this is exactly the same setup as the other one when it comes from the factory I don't get it so um, yeah the filter is turned down if you want to hear something you need to turn it up the oscillator one is turned up which is fine um, so the signal goes to the VCF and then the signal goes to the VCA and still it's the same like on the other one you need to turn up the VCF fader into the VCA and you need to send an envelope generator, the AR or the ADSR. I only take the AR. Then you need to turn this fader down. Otherwise you will listen to the output of the VCF and then you get this famous droning tone. And turn this level up. And now you can play it with MIDI and you're ready to go. Let's turn the reverb out. Okay, let's 
check it out to make some audio files. So here's my comparison setup. Um, looks a bit wild, but it makes sense because um, yeah, in order to have an accurate setup, um, let's say I only wanted to test um, the differences with the filters on both. So uh, what I did is all the modulations um, are patched to both devices and also the oscillators from the gray one are patched to the inputs um, of the black one and also yeah the modulations are like multiplied and I can um, for instance with this fader I will set the modulation depth of the ADSR so here it is set to full and here as well and with this fader I can just set it for both and the overall cutoff frequency I can set with this fader um, yeah, I mean, maybe hard to understand, but um, this way I can really make sure that I don't have any differences with the modulations going on, so to have the exact same envelope settings on both. Okay, so let's hear some examples. Um, hope you enjoy it. So what we see now is um, a spectrum analysis of both units of the filter. So what you um, can see, this is only a sine wave from the filter, which is produced by putting both filters into self-resonance mode. Um, that means resonance fully up. And I tuned the frequency to an A at around 110 Hz. And now we're checking what's going on. This is the gray mini. And this is the 2600 standard on the right side. Um, so there are some differences which are obvious. This is the fundamental um, at 110 hertz. It's the loudest peak and the peak is the same for both units. And the second peak you see is the first harmonic. Um, it's an overtone and it's louder on the gray mini than it is on the 2600 standard. And the second harmonic uh, appears to be the same for both. I mean, okay, let's check the 4072 filter. Um, need to retune it a bit. Okay, yeah, that looks nice. Uh, yeah, if I compare these, they're looking quite similar. So there's not a big difference for both units. They have the same sine wave for both filters. But it's interesting, as you can see, this one produces more overtones. So there's a third and a fourth harmonic, um, which means it, it's a bit more linear, uh, non-linear than the other one. Okay.
Okay, so these were the boring sound examples. Um, I hope you're still there. And if you are, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, do you hear any difference? And if you hear any difference, which one is better? Um, yeah, would just be interesting. Uh, also for the reverb, I didn't make any examples. I mean, this one has a spring reverb now, the Grey Mini. Um, and it sounds different, but uh, you can hear many examples already on, on YouTube. So, um, yeah, and in future videos where I make some sound examples of the Grey Mini, um, then um, I will use the reverb as well. Okay, so thanks again for watching and happy patching everyone. <laughs>